Hello and welcome to another Toxicology Pills educational video. This one is about phenytoin overdose. And as with previous videos, I'll put all the sources I've used to make the video in, in the description below. The first thing you need to know about phenytoin overdoses are that they are relatively safe in that you're very unlikely to die from phenytoin ingested as a single agent. And the majority of deaths in the context of phenytoin overdoses have um, occurred in cases where people have taken phenytoin along with other drugs. So what are the effects of phenytoin in overdose? Well, most of them affect the central nervous system. You need to know about ataxia, you need to know about confusion, and you need to know about sedation. There are some effects related to the solvent that phenytoin is dissolved in, and this is propylene glycol. The reason that phenytoin has to be dissolved in propylene glycol is that it has very poor water solubility. And propylene glycol itself is cardiotoxic, it causes hypotension and arrhythmias. So there are complications you can get from IV phenytoin when it's infused too rapidly. These wouldn't usually occur in the context of oral phenytoin overdoses. So what's the mechanism of phenytoin toxicity? Well, there's two main things that could happen. One is that you have increased absorption of the drug, either because you've had a dose increase or you've taken an acute overdose. And the other thing you could have is decreased metabolism, which will either be through an inhibition of the cytochrome P450 enzymes, or uh, just because you are a genetically slow metabolizer to begin with. And any of these things will result in an increased serum concentration. So the toxic dose of phenytoin in overdose um, is 20 milligrams per kilo to get cerebellar signs, but you need a much bigger overdose of 100 milligrams per kilo in order to get sedation or coma. The treatment for phenytoin overdose is largely supportive. It is worth thinking about activated charcoal. So you could give a single dose of activated charcoal of 50 grams orally anytime up to four hours after ingestion. And you might also want to think about multiple dose activated charcoal. For example, you could give 25 grams every two hours. Uh, this has been shown to reduce the half-life of phenytoin and also reduce the peak concentrations achieved. Whether that translates into improved outcomes is uh, unknown. Um, but it's probably worth considering for big overdoses of bigger than 100 milligrams per kilo. The other thing to remember is that if you're going to give lots of doses of charcoal, you need to make sure they're not in ileus. Uh, so that means listening for bowel sounds, checking for abdominal distension and checking for regurgitation of charcoal or charcoal coming back up the NG tube if they have one. Finally, patients who've taken a phenytoin overdose need to be observed for at least six hours and they can be discharged when they're GCS 15 with normal observations.